Mike Rankin, those many of you know, is our editor-in-chief of InDesign Magazine and Creative Pro yep. and InDesign Secrets. Yep, yep, yep. And he's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff. Mike, are you ready? Yes. Yes. All Edit. right, cool. So this tip is for creating uh, circles for numbered lists, and it was inspired by a friend of mine who had a dilemma. She had to create numbered lists that look like these, where the numbers are in white, they sit in colored circles, and she was restricted in the fonts she could use. She had to use her own set of project fonts, so this had to work with a, any font that she had, um, and the numbered lists had to remain as real, live numbered lists. Okay, so she couldn't convert the numbering to regular text. And she had tried using an anchored object, anchoring circular frames in the line with each numbered list item. And that was kind of klutzy, and it also didn't work because when you anchor an object in a line of text, it always appears in front of the text of the line where it sits. So that was klutzy and, and a problem. So we tossed around a few different ideas, and we ended up coming up with a solution that invo involved a paragraph rule using a dotted rule to create these circles. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Okay, so I'll go to the next page of my document. And we have a, a fun little numbered list here that we're gonna set up with the circles. So these are all formatted with a paragraph style that I will edit right now. <laughs> and I'll start by setting up the bullets and numbering options. I'll apply a character style that formats the numbers as white. And then I'll go up to paragraph rules. I'll turn the rule on. I'll change the type from solid to dotted. I'll set the color to the color that I want, which in this case is a coffee brown. And this creates little tiny dots. But guess what? We can make those little tiny dots a lot bigger. So I'll just increase them until I get to the size that I want. Right now they're sitting up a little bit too high, so we have this offset. So I can press the down arrow key on my keyboard to lower those suckers down. That looks pretty good right there. And now, if I look at the page, the dots go all the way across the page, so that's not really what I want. They're set to go to the width of the column, but I can change the right indent to push them all over to the left. And as I increase that right indent value, watch what happens to the dots. They get shoved over, and when they get too close together, they start disappearing. And I'll just keep shoving them over until I just end up with one dot to rule them all. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And it is, it is of course, I, I still have 35 you seconds. You do, you man. do. Keep so going. it is just a paragraph style. You can just apply it, turn it on, turn it off, edit the text, and you know, there you go. Nice, nice. That's awesome.